This all day affair really includes testimony from the top down officials from the Office of Cannabis Management started the day off and dispensary owners and farmers are currently testifying. As I've now stated multiple times, there is so much more to do. OCM Executive Director Chris Alexander acknowledged many of the issues with New York's current cannabis market during his opening remarks Monday. Those issues include a low number of legal dispensaries, too many illegal ones, litigation, struggling farmers, the list goes on. And this transition has been a painful one for so many. But I and my team will continue to do the hard things and will continue fighting to ensure that New York's cannabis market becomes what we all know that it can be. And during this first ever hearing, as you might expect, OCM officials were peppered with questions. What do we need to do? Because clearly whatever we did isn't really working. So do you think a recovery fund for the farmers that are struggling from this initial rollout is important? Officials gave their assessment in response, but also touted state programs involving diversity and outdoor growing that have seen some success. Enforcement is not one of those areas, however. Of the almost 300 enforcement actions taken by OCM against illegal cannabis operations since June, we learned Monday only 16 have resulted in fines. As a layperson here, as a, and certainly as a lawmaker, that seems like a startlingly low number, given the fact that we all recognize there are thousands of, of these illegal shops around the state. OCM's head of enforcement said fine-tuning to address illegal activity is possible and that hearings will resume soon for enforcement, but it won't be easy. Do you think we're going to be able to put this genie back into the bottle to actually have a regulated marijuana distribution? No, not with not without greater coordination and collaboration. As I said, this is uh, all hands on deck. With the general cannabis licensing application now open, OCM's immediate goal remains opening more stores. Because that is the answer. That is why we're issuing more licenses to get more stores open so that the product has a continued flow through. Otherwise, we're going to keep acting as if we are the, 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 the knot in the hose and everybody's going to be impacted. Yeah, that really was just a taste of today's hearing still going on as we speak. Another question from lawmakers was whether they would need to act to strengthen the market or the legislation that currently governs the market in the upcoming legislative session. But those answers are still to come. On your side in the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.